welcome to another episode of Fridays with Farney. As you can see from your calendar, we're running out of Fridays in summer. So we're rapidly trying to catch up and get all of the Rentschler collection into this into these spots before the, we run out of time and it run, returns back to Laramie. This week, we're dealing with this beautiful painting titled Thunder Horse, the Thunder Horse. And you can see it has a train in the background. We're not playing Johnny Cash music, but it really is a very poignant scene. It's beautifully painted. Of all the works in this collection of the Rentschler collection, this piece is the moodiest and I think it's really the most painterly and gets across a sense of drama with that wonderful sky. You've got the train running off into the distance off to our right. The band of Lakotas are coming our way. They're rather nonplus about this train that's running across uh, away from them. Only two of the individuals in the whole column here are paying any attention to it. The first fellow in the front, you can see is off his horse and looking at it. The second fellow is turned, but you know, it's not an image where he's portraying any angst or anything about it. It's just like, oh yeah, okay. And you know, this painting is working as an allegory. Uh, the idea that it's portraying is that their civilization running off one direction and the, this band of Lakotas are headed in our direction into a, oblivion or obscurity. And that's really what I think Farney was painting here is, you know, remember he's painting at a time when the belief is that the American Indian is not going to survive. Uh, you know, and we can, there's a whole history book that we can write about that and, the, and those beliefs. But this is one of the many images that Farney paints. And when, remember we introduced you to the book, the Bible of Farney, the Cincinnati Art Museum's Henry Farney Paints the West. And one of the, one of the major uh, dialogues in here is written by Julie Schimmel, a, a very well-known art historian. Her whole essay is called Images of the Dispossessed. And in the section of the book that she writes, she concentrates on images of Native Americans being dispossessed. And one of the things that we need to point out, or I'd like to point out about the Rentschler collection is this painting and end of the race. Those are the only two paintings in here that really show that mood. The other paintings are all pretty positive. You know, they're painting the Indians as they lived before reservation days. So most of the paintings in our collection wouldn't have made you know, Julie Schimmel's painting. But let's go back to this painting. There's no date, unlike most of the paintings in this show, there's no date on this painting, but we'll show you a, one of the works that is in the book. And that work is dated 1907. And I have a feeling this is probably dated between 1900 and 1907. But great painting, a lovely night scene, and you know, a really positive image from the Rentschler collection. This painting, I also want to point out, has traveled around the world. In fact, it's been to Japan in an exhibition there. So we're very happy to have it. Uh, I want to encourage you to come see this exhibit. We only have about three more weeks left for you to come enjoy it. We have masks, uh, we have the bistro, and better yet, we have air conditioning. Thank you very much. Thank you.